education is a lifetime asset. Therefore, where one receives the education is important. In Nigeria, the University of Ilori has continued to set the pace, thereby becoming the backbone to a successful educational breakthrough. The University of Ilori came into being with the, with the University of Ilori Act, enacted by the federal government, known as the University of Ilori Act, CAPU 7, laws of the Federal Republic of Nigeria 2010 as amended. And um, it began work in earnest that same year with just four staff. By 1976, the university started academic exercise and with just 200 students in three faculties. The faculties of education, the faculty of arts, and uh, the faculty of science. Over the years, University of Ilari has continued to grow in different ramifications as the authorities have left no stone unturned while ensuring fairness and justice among its staff and students regardless of race, religion and nationality. The university core mandate is to make sure that students are well trained and globally competitive. So what we do is to make sure that we create an enabling environment by infrastructure, and also to make sure that the atmosphere is conducive for learning. The University of Ilari has been described as Nigeria's center for professionals and talent discovery, as the university is made up of individuals who have continued to contribute to global developments. This university has uh, produced so many experts that if you look at what contribution we have made as a university, even though we have close to 170 universities in Nigeria, you will see that we stand out in the number of vice chancellors we produce, the number of national advisors we have produced, and I believe more than any other university too, we have produced ministers. The quality of staff that we have in this university is something to be proud of because a lot of our staff are called to be members of one body or the other uh, to serve nationally and internationally. In terms of how we have performed, we have always been in the top five. Quite interestingly, the University of Ilari has continued to record many firsts, making sure researchers' findings do not end up on the shelf, but linking such findings with the industry for onward development and commercialization. In 2015, this university did a maverick uh, policy that is now imbibed by all the universities in Nigeria. We started a unit that they called Laboratory to Product. And uh, it was charged with the idea of not only encouraging researches, inventions, but making sure that the right companies, the right financiers are involved after the discovery to make sure that things could be commercialized. The very first product that was commercialized was an invention that turned polymer waste into a product that could be used to mop up oil spillage. University of Ilari is unique in many faces. However, it has continued to support its researchers in many ramifications as it not only rewards them with adequate facilities, it also has rewards for hard work. What we have done is to increase the capacity of our academic staff uh, to compete locally, global, nationally and globally for a research grant and uh, we have outstanding records. When you make a marketable or uh, a commercializable product, a percentage of the revenue coming to the university is given to the researchers. And I believe this is also encouraging. The current vice chancellor, his passion is on research, which is one of the mandates of the teaching staff. We have resources. We also have what we call the Central Laboratory Resource uh, Center that has uh, lab equipment. In matters of academic success, right, those research findings in the past have shown that those who have heavily dependent on the library, they come out with better outcome than those who did not. And so the same thing will go for research breakthrough. The university has been a science-based university all along. So our researches were tended towards 
groundbreaking researches, and we have been training our students to achieve such. For instance, the first grinding machine or panding machine was created, was detected and done in the University of Illori. Vice Chancellor has been pushing for research grants from funding agencies to fund stem cell research. The university is starting the stem cell research and the amount is enormous, but the VC is up to the task and has been working around the clock. University of Illori has continued to remain Nigeria's most sought after institution due to obvious factors including adequate facilities, stability in academic programs, and quality among others. Over the years, we have been winning the award of the most subscribed. And why is it's not too far-fetched? We have about four unions on campus, and these unions do not go on strike. The university system in Nigeria is volatile. We are the only campus that has remained open perpetually for the last 19 or 20 years. If you look at the subscription by uh, admission seekers for the past three, four, five or more years, University of Florida has always been the number one. The university, through its Center for International Education, CIE, has continued to raise the bar through its internationalization drive. As far as studentship is concerned, foreign students on our campus have formed the largest grouping on any university campus in Nigeria. We have well over 400 international students drawn from about 16 African and other nations of the world. We have staff drawn from about eight countries of the world. Here yeah, at University of Lawrence, students are admitted from diverse, I mean, different culture, different states, different countries, and uh, we have been able to accommodate them to the extent that they achieve the, their, their goal on campus. University of Illori does not only engage its students academically, staff are encouraged to monitor young ones so as to secure a stable future for the country and the global society. Teachers were viewed as demigod, people that could not be approached. And over the years, that has improved because we now have students having more access to their lecturers. Once you are a staff, especially academic staff with students under you, it is taken that you are in local parentis. So you must look after these students. You must mentor them. Obviously, University of Illori is one of the global universities that has grown over time. Today, it houses several modern and state-of-the-art facilities that are competitive with global standards. We can boast as a university of having many state-of-the-art uh, equipment available, but we will still need more because the idea of being university requires that there be no limit to the researches that can be done. So you will notice that several lecture theatres, lecture rooms, seminar rooms, uh, buildings for faculties and departments have been coming up to also improve the teaching. Why is the University of Lauren the most sought after Nigerian university? This university gives you the chance of visually carrying out and physically realizing your dream of what arrangement of space and people should be. As soon as you enter through the gates, you can see the beauty of the campus the cleanliness, the green lawns that is conducive to study. We, we make coming in easy, right, despite the huge number who apply here. Why is it better by far? Everything you need to be a full person and happy person, the university provides the environment you need for it. So I can tell you, University of Illinois is better by far.